The purpose of this demo is to showcase the progress we have made with Payroll 2.0. Please note that this information is subject to change since development is still in progress. In this demo, we will be highlighting the new Payroll Setup Wizard. The Payroll Setup Wizard provides several pages of questions and options that help you set up the payroll module for a new company. The Employee Configuration page allows you to define options specific to employees. You can select to use departments as a way of grouping employees for reporting and posting purposes. You can also choose to allow duplicate Social Security numbers in employee maintenance. The Tax Setting page allows you to define options and default values for state and local tax reporting. When paying employees, you can choose to calculate taxes for more than one state or local tax jurisdiction on the same check, report withholding taxes for local jurisdictions, and select the default state and location tax codes. The term time off will now be used for all features that were previously called benefits. The change from benefits to time off will be carried throughout payroll and descriptions you define here will flow through into other locations where time off is used. You can choose to reset employee time off limits at the end of the benefit year and you can reset time off hours based on calendar year or the employee's anniversary date. The Data Entry page allows you to define options for recalculating deductions in Payroll Data Entry. When you make a change on the Lines panel and then save the entry, you can choose to automatically recalculate deductions. If you prefer, you can have the system display a message asking to recalculate deductions when the entry is saved. In addition, you can select to recalculate all deductions or only automatic deductions when a change is made in data entry. This page allows you to enable direct deposit for your employees. If you enable direct deposit, you will need to select the interface application you want to use. Select the SAGE 100 direct deposit service if you want SAGE to transmit your payroll information directly to your bank. Select the option Manually Send ACH File if you want to send the generated ACH files to your bank, or select Other if you are using a third-party interface application. If you want to use the SAGE 100 Direct Deposit Service, you will need to submit an application. You can do this by clicking the link on the Direct Deposit tab in Payroll Options after completing the Setup Wizard. The History Retention page allows you to define the number of years to retain payroll history. The previous options to retain check history and perpetual history have been combined into one option and you will now be required to retain at least four years of history. You will also be required to retain four years of e-filing check history. On this page, you will define the current payroll year and quarter. You can also select to post expenses and accrual postings based on a calculated percentage and determine if you want expenses to be summarized when posted to the general ledger. This is the final page of the Setup Wizard. You can review the options you selected by printing the wizard listing or viewing them in the list box. When you select the Finish button to complete the wizard, if this option is selected, you will go directly into Payroll Options where you can make changes if necessary. This concludes the demo for Payroll Setup Wizard.